um, when I thought about what you're doing for your mother, I, I was thinking the same thing that you're thinking and what you're going through, the fears, the insecurities, you know, what ifs, what if nots, and it's like what George's saying and confirming this too, is that we have to always encourage ourselves because, you know, sometimes when you're alone, you need to pat yourself and to, to really realize that you're, you're a man and, um, and that, you know, it's not about being a hero, it's not about being an angel, it's not about being a, a king or a queen it's, or, or a popular or a celebrity. It's really about this act of kindness, this, this deep, deep type of decision making exclusive to one. And with God by your side, you will never go wrong. And I just want to thank you because you made me appreciate if my mother went through that, Ted, um, I would be there for them too. So thank you for that testament and thank you for what you're doing. You're a great man. Keep up the good work. Keep your faith and keep looking forward. And I'm looking forward to meeting you soon. Amen. Amen. Um, so, George, so what's going on? What's, what's, what's happening? Well, today what we did was... Uh, we brought the torch of life. Oh which yeah! Is over here, we, we we wanted to actually pass it to you, uh, Claremont, and I'm going to give you a brief history about it. Okay, this yeah. is nice. All right. Now, it, as you can see, it's an Olympic-style torch. Right. And it was originally lit up in uh, 2000, uh, Ju June 20th, at the Toronto uh, City Hall by Mayor Mel Lesman, mm -hmm. and he passed it to a person that was on the uh, waiting list, uh, waiting for liver and she then passed the uh, torch to a donor family that recently lost their loved one and donated their organs to that donor and the significance in that was that if everybody was going to hear this message through the uh, torch uh, you know we can save a lot of lives mm -hmm. and and so from that day June 20th 2000 the torch was brought across 12,000 kilometers across Canada uh, through 500 communities and even made a stop at Vatican City uh, where Pope John Paul II blessed the torch and proclaimed to the world that organ and tissue donation is a genuine act of love and he encouraged every uh, religion and everybody in the world uh, to become organ donors. Mm. And it was a significant day because for that entire week we had many religions and everybody talking about organ donations. So the torch made its way back to uh, Canada and after the Canada uh, trek, a young 14 year old boy that needed a liver transplant, Christopher Knowles, carried it across Canada. It was a 200 city tour. Mm -hmm. He said, well, I just wanted to get out of school, so this is my way of getting out of school. <laughs> so, you know, he carried that torch for a whole year. And, and he, he recruited uh, an army of 100,000 students. And so recently we completed a student torch relay. We, mm -hmm. we arranged 100 students uh, across Canada to be like young ambassadors mm -hmm. uh, for the uh, torch. We had uh, Venice uh, Lindsay from uh, the Jane and Finch uh, School, uh, remember? Yes. She yes. represented Toronto, and uh, we we finished from we started St. John's. We finished in Yellowknife, way up in Yellowknife, uh, on June 11th, and and now it's kind of resting, mm -hmm. uh, but it's in between gigs because mm -hmm. the next gig it's going around the world. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to be organizing uh, a thousand uh, students uh, around the world to relay the torch through 200 countries. So that torch, I'm telling you, uh, Claremont, it's got so much love, so much power. There's uh, just hundreds and if not thousands of stories that have been attached to this torch. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I had to bring it today to you. Oh, well, it's, it's an awesome thing for me. Now, I have to ask some questions to ask. Where did it put the liquid, the fluid? Well, there's a wick, as you can see at yeah, the top. Right. You take the wick out. Now, you use only lamp oil, which I have right here. Yeah, right. Uh, this is my little kit that right. I bring on the road with me, and, and so we put the lamp oil inside, then you put the wick, and because uh, it's a new wick, that'll stay lit all day, like, and no matter how windy it is, or how, you know, you'll, you'll have that flame lit uh, all day, so. Wow. Folks, you should see it. Looks nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're taking a picture of you. Yeah, uh, so. Yeah, this is, this, is, this is neat, this is neat, this is neat, I like it. Um, and, and this is sort of like the Olympic torch. It's it an Olympic style it torch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's not the e Olympic torch, right. but it's an Olympic style. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So, 2000 
2000, you said this is when you started this. June 20th. Yeah. What was the motivation to starting this? The motivation? Mm -hmm. Well, it was in 1992 when I found out that I had liver uh, disease in 1995 that I received the liver. Mm -hmm. And uh, basically, I just wanted to share the, you know, out of gratitude, I wanted to share my story with everybody to how important it was to become an organ donor because I was just too many people were dying and too many organs were going to waste. Mysteriously, this torch appeared during our third campaign. That was the Canada Walk. Mm -hmm. Out of nowhere. It just, like two weeks before we were about to do our kickoff, mm -hmm. uh, it was uh, wrapped up in, in a nice case and it was delivered at our office and we still don't know up to this day where it came from. Oh really? Yeah. It was donated anonymously. Wow. Like, we got we got the word out that we were looking for something like this but I'm, I'm telling you this is a hard thing to find. If you want to find a torch like this, mm -hmm. you're going to have a hard time finding it, you know. Mm -hmm. And and so uh, someone didn't want to be known. And, and they, they knew that what we were doing was important. They just, they probably made it themselves. I don't know. Uh, it's, 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 it's good, it's good, it's good. I, li I like it. At least I can say I've never been to the Olympics, <laughs> but I'm going for the toys. <laughs> and you're in good company. Uh, besides the Pope, we've had many celeb celebrities that have held that. And, and so does this mean I'm like a celebrity? <laughs> well, you're <laughs> always a celebrity. Always. Yeah, now, now, now I'm an official celebrity. I'm holding the toy. <laughs> this is good stuff. Um, so, the, as you said, from 2000 to 2000, the, the torch has been going around the world and so forth. What is the... the um, the reception of the torch. Many people are, look forward to receiving it because, when, when, for example, when we did our uh, last tour with the hundred students, uh, we had a hundred students that were excited, pumped up because they were seeing pictures of this torch. You know, we had little videos of where it's been and the journey. So, just imagine, um, you know, these were all high school students and. And they know that it was going to come to their town and that they were going to be the ones that were going to champion the tor torch and carrying mm -hmm. it through their town. So uh, I have this all on video, Claremont. Right. I, it, the excitement and, and just enthusiasm that these kids show. And you remember Venice when she yes. carried it? She carried it all the way from Jane and Finch. On foot. On foot. <laughs> she had the whole classroom behind her. Right. Uh, and we made it to uh, Queens Park where Premier McGinty came out to mm -hmm. join us. What was the name of Miller. that school? Um, it, it, it's right at, at um, Jane, and, Jane Finch. and Finch. But I can't remember the name. Jane and Finch. We both have blank out right now. I'm sorry. <laughs> but, but we <laughs> remember this yeah. tour. It was on towards. the news the other day, and I. And I oh, something collegiate. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, is this where uh, the young man got shot? Is that that school? I think yeah, that was. Yeah. Um, I'm, you know what was amazing to see is how all the students re re reciprocated to this. Mm -hmm. Like they all became champions that day. Mm -hmm. You yes. know, we all, we all made it a very positive day that day. Was so proud. Like mm -hmm. you would be so proud to witness this. And, and just to see the encouragement of mm -hmm. the of the students, it was. Uh, it was as, as if they saw something they didn't see before. They had missed this all together. Right. And then when George presented it, it was like something was reborn in them, that they had a new vision, they had a new premise, and, and they felt like alive. And you should see them clapping in the audience. And just when George went, it was like, wow, there was the, there is the church. Mm -hmm. That's how they felt. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, I'm officially a torch <laughs> you, you, you look good with that holy yes, uh, torch. Yes. <laughs> now you need Donovan Bailey next to you. That's right. Uh, <laughs> running with the Hand it to him. Baton, yeah, baton. Yeah, passing it on. Yeah. Um, tell us a little bit about your foundation. Step by step. Well, um, it was created in 1997, and um, this is shortly after I received the liver. Mm -hmm. And as I say, I couldn't sing or dance, uh, but I knew how to walk. Uh, so I walked from Toronto to Ottawa uh, just to say thank you to my donor family mm -hmm. and basically that's why I did it and, and um, they... So, so you're trans, your liver transplant came all the way from Ottawa? I, uh, I don't know for sure mm -hmm. uh, you know like because when you receive uh, a, a cadaverical organ it's mm -hmm. kept anonymous okay and you can only correspond with the family um, oh no oh 